These are high energy electrons that are so energetic, they're moving at the speed of light because Jupiter's magnetic field has accelerated them to the point where they will go right through a spacecraft and strip the atoms apart inside your electronics and, and fry your brain if you don't do anything about it. So we did a lot about it. Uh, but I'd like to show you exactly how those electrons are moving. And if I could have the first animation. So this is how fast they're really moving. They're spiraling around the magnetic field lines and they're bouncing up and down between magnetic mirror points in a few seconds. Imagine something like that hitting you. This is only one. There will be millions and millions of them hitting Juno tonight. And once they do, the minute they hit that spacecraft, they will ricochet and create shrapnel of photons and other particles which will then scatter. And that's what gets in and degrades the electronics. So in order to protect Juno, we did a couple of very important things. And the first thing was the work of our navigation team. They designed a very special polar orbit that not only allows Juno to do its science, but it allows us to protect ourselves a little bit from the radiation. So if I could have the next animation, please. In this animation, you'll see how our trajectory allows Juno to fly around the really harsh parts of the radiation belts near the equator and duck underneath when we get very close to the planet. But we still have these very high intensity regions near the planet that we can't avoid. And later in the mission, we get further and further into the equatorial region, and that's where we're really going to start to degrade. So we did something else, which is our radiation vault. And if I could have the next animation. If we hadn't done anything else, Juno would experience something equivalent to a human being having 100 million x-rays in less than a year. And so what we've done to protect Juno and bring that dose down by a factor of 800 is to build a wall of titanium around the most sensitive electronics. And that wall is about a half an inch thick. Brings the dose down. A little bit is still going to get in. And that is the area where the heart and brain of Juno is. That's what's going to have to work tonight so that all those steps play out at the right time, in the right order, and for the right period of time. And what I'd like to show you is where Juno will be exactly when that's going to happen. So if I could have the next animation. This is a model. Uh, of our radiation belts, uh, of Jupiter's radiation belts near the planet. This is what Juno will be flying through while it's going through all those steps that Rick just described. So you see, you can't avoid that nasty red. Uh, Juno goes through that twice. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.